All right, continuing on here at the NHRA Motorsports Museum in Pomona, California, paying homage to some legends, as you see, Matt Hines, Dave Schultz's motorcycle right there. Here's one we gotta shine the spotlight on. Many of you know about this bike. If you don't, you're gonna find out right now. I have my Harley and chopper expert, Michael Beland with us. Mike, I know you're drolling over this bike. This Tell is, me about it. This is uh, made by a guy named uh, Little John Batera. Uh, he started in the hot rod industry, building funny car frames, and he got into the street uh, street rods in the early 90s, nice. late 80s, early 90s. And he was one of the forefront of billet wheel technology. He built billet wheels for hot rods. That's how he made his name. He started in the wheel company, mirrors, uh, anything that I build aluminum CNC machine. He was on the forefront of that. This uh, little soft tail has a billet aluminum swing arm, a billet outboard primary belt drive, billet foot controls, billet handmade levers, billet handmade mirrors, <laughs> sunken one piece control holders. We got billet buttons integrated into the handlebars, handmade handlebars. Here's a nice key switch, a nice touch in the frame key switch for no wiring visible. Uh, even the oil tank has a billet oil tank. What year was this motorcycle built? Uh, yeah. Late 80s. Late 80s. Yep. This is a homemade tree. He's also holding an upside down fork. This gentleman was just incredibly ahead of way, his time, wasn't he? Time, yeah. He's actually using a cable to keep it clean, and the cable will go down underneath the gas tank to activate a hydraulic master cylinder to run the double right. brake up front. Wow, double brake. So it's a hydraulic front brake, but it's cable actuated, and the master cylinder is hidden inside to keep it clean. A, a true pioneer, a true uh, front runner here. Yeah. How many people do you think copied off of these designs? Yeah. And oh, used everybody, them? everybody, yeah, everybody copied this stuff. <laughs> yep, it's just uh, the motorcycle industry, that's what happens. It's a gorgeous piece of history here, and it's a well-deserved enshrinement here in the NHRA Museum, Pomona, California. So much technology, as Mike pointed out. How many hours do you think went into crafting this? Hundreds, hundreds. Even the gas tank is, there's no, uh, there's no dash, but it's sunk in speedometer and gas cap, but there's no removable yeah, dash. That's yeah. all done from the bottom. Wow. That's truly amazing, guys. If you know anything about this bike, please share a story in the comments. Please share a photo in the comments. How much would you like to own this bike? A billet kickstand. How about that? With this much billet, you know that there, there had to be some drag racing inspiration, right? Yeah, well, he built uh, funny car frames and things like that. He moved to California and uh, started his own hot rod shop, you know? Awesome piece of history, guys. Hope you're enjoying all these videos. As I said before, share a story if you have one. Make sure you subscribe to Cycle Drag on YouTube and you like CycleDrag.com on Facebook for all the coverage for beautiful bikes like this. You know if it makes Michael B. Landroll. <laughs> it's got because you've had some pretty nice Harley. So yeah, I built a few bikes, but this is one of the classic bikes that's kind of started it all type thing. How know? much would you love to own this? Yeah, I wouldn't touch it. I'd leave it here. Yeah. That's the way. That's the place yeah. where it belongs, right? Yeah. So it'll, other people. Some people might walk right by it, but people that know, know. Awesome, guys. Hope you enjoy it. It is a piece of history.